I'm on a relatively small farm this morning. They had a couple of small fields of, it was either barley or wheat, which was harvested and all mulched up and placed under the cover in the silo in front of you. This was to help feed the cattle through uh, the winter. The problem is that the crows have found it and they have riddled the cover with holes big holes, big enough to put your fist down in through to try and get at the barley or wheat. So I have come very early this morning, actually it was still dark, I set the hide up, I'm using a little bushware double hide, hoping to get a shot at uh, some crows or magpies. And as you can see the magpies have started to arrive, but the, the minute they're landing just out of sight uh, in around the back of that uh, silage trailer in the foreground. But eventually one of the birds lands on the ground where I can get a good shot at him. Unfortunately, as you can probably hear in the background, the farmer also has a wagon and is now starting his daily rounds and feeding livestock and cleaning hens out. Though the birds didn't go too far as I noticed that there was one or two sitting on the hay shaker just behind the silage trailer. So I managed to get the rifle and the camera on aim and after a bit of patience took a nice headshot. Reloaded the rifle and noticed that there was a second bird sitting. Though it didn't look as if he was going to sit too long so I went for a heart and lung shot. So that was the first two down. While there was still a bit of commotion in the background, I decided to go forward and pick up the two birds I'd shot. I only found the one with the headshot. The second one, I don't know, it maybe fell into the machinery um, that I was sitting on, but I, I didn't find it at the time, but it was well struck and I don't think it would have went too far. Even with the commotion in the yard behind me, I had another bird down fairly quickly. Again this time I went for a heart and lung shot. The bird done a wee bit of skipping and jumping, but when he came to a rest on the ground, he was finished. That's the difference between a heart and a, a head shot. Head shot usually just drop where they are. The heart shot they can get a small distance. Sometimes I've seen birds getting 20 to 30 yards before finally dropping dead. So again while there was still a bit of commotion in the background I went out and left at the bird. They seem to be used to um, the movement in the yard. Now I don't know what I was doing, I didn't notice the bird just off the side of the silage trailer sitting up on the uh, tires there. He just appeared from nowhere. But the bird there that swooped down in to uh, feed on the uh, crop silage was uh, easily noticed and I focused my attention on him. And took a nice 25 yard headshot. And you can see he didn't go anywhere compared to a heart and lung shot. I left at the birds as I shot them. Um, the silage or the crop silage is the attractant. So by lifting the dead birds, it just sort of reset the. the Thankfully, the farmer. At some point I'll maybe try using decoys, but uh, at the minute I was just happy sitting and taking the birds as they came down to feed. Now I got my fifth opportunity sometime after the farmer lifted the uh, trailer and took it out of my way. Unfortunately though I don't know whether I flinched or the magpie flinched. 
but I missed the headshot. After a while I noticed uh, a bird sitting up on top of the hay shaker. I actually thought it was a starling at the time but after looking through the scope I realised it was a jackdaw. It was only about 20 yards away and I went for a heart and lung shot. Now the bird didn't drop but flew just over the silage cover. I thought maybe I'd wounded it. I, I wasn't 100% sure but I didn't put much chance in retrieving it. There is two or three pairs of collared doves in this farm. Usually every farm, even in Northern Ireland, um, has two or three uh, doves knocking about it. The only thing is that they seem to be protected in Northern Ireland. I don't know why, but uh, then again, England um, can't shoot starlings and we can in Northern Ireland, so it's just one of those things. But I left the birds well alone. They make a good decoy anyway. But after a while, the uh, local crows, you can hear hooded crows, rooks, jackdaws, they were going clean mad. There was something the other side of the silage cover that was definitely distressing them big time. Uh, usually when they do this, it's when they've spotted a, a dead bird. So this gave me a really good indication where that jackdaw went to. And after a wee bit of a search, I found it lying dead round the back of the silage cover. The shot must have been good after all. It just had enough of adrenaline surge to manage to get that distance. I gave it another hour or so and then decided to call it quits as the birds seemed to have lost all interest. Whether it was because the yard behind me was so busy the day or what, uh, I don't know. But uh, I had a right wee flurry this morning while it was still sort of half dark. You can see the sort of damage that the birds were doing to the silage cover before it was opened up. Now they can just go to the uh, silage face and feed away. And this is what they're really after. You can see the kernels in among the uh, stalks and that that the birds are hoping for. Well, I've what four in the bag, one that I couldn't find, but uh, hopefully I'll get another day. <laughs>